Good evening, everyone. My name is Mary Ellen Vandenbrink. I'm a registered holistic nutritionist. And tonight I'm so excited to share one of my most favorite uh, subjects, smart and healthy kids. And as you can see uh, in the corner there, that's my four granddaughters and they're all Neolife babies. But when I got started with Neolife 28 years ago, it was actually because of my own boys. I was, uh, I was a law clerk working at the time, stressful job. But my younger son was suffering from all these respiratory issues, which so many of the kids are suffering from these days. And I tried everything. I you know, tried natural products. And of course, all the medications were had so many side effects, but I didn't have any choice other than to do that. And one day we had dinner at a coworker of my husband's. And that's when I first heard about Neolife. And I was, I was shocked. The girl that we met, she was always tired and sick and run down and she was just looking so healthy. And, and when I asked her what she was doing, she said, the only thing I'm doing different is I'm taking these products from Neolife. And I'm like, okay, what makes this different? And she said, I don't know. It's made from whole food and it's been around since 1958 and I'm not sick in, anymore. And I'm like, okay, get me some information. And that's how we got started. So I got my son started on the products and just to clarify, these products don't diagnose, treat, or cure any disease, but it's amazing what the body can do when it has the right support. And within six months, uh, my son's respiratory issues were cleared up. In fact, today he's a firefighter and my older son, it he helped him focus better in school. And all four girls you see there, not one of them has ever been on antibiotics, which is so, so rare for kids these days. So. So that's why I got so excited about, you know, just sharing my story and helping other moms, you know, to have the same results with their kids. And when you look at a uh, nutritional foundation, what, are, what do we want to support for our kids? We want a healthy mind and body. And a lot of people don't realize the connection between cognitive health, brain health and, and nutrition. So how do we do that with our kids? Well, we got to make sure they get enough sleep. Just like us, you need your sleep every day. They have to move their bodies, you know, get circulate the, the nutrients, eat a healthy diet as best you can and fill the gaps with good quality supplements. And of course, you know, as this is, uh, we don't even have to talk about this anymore because everybody's washing their hands with what's been going on. But it's very, very important to make sure when your kids come in from school or before they eat that they wash their hands. And it's kind of interesting because a lot of people don't realize that children need more nutrients than we do. And why is that? Well, you think about it, their body weight doubles so many times from birth. They're, you know, there's young tissues and organs, they're developing, their cognitive skills, their learning skills are developing. They have very high metabolic rate. Their energy demands are enormous because you know they go all the time. And this is why a nutrient-rich diet is essential. And that's sometimes a little challenging because what are kids a lot of times are picky eaters or, or they go through stages where they only want to eat certain foods. And, and so that's why it's, it's so, so important to try to give them the best nutrition you can and not fill it full of a lot of the bad foods. And when you look at what these poor diets do, of course, they equal poor health. Well, as far as obesity, one in five children in Canada are actually overweight. There's so many skin conditions. I get people calling me all the time, their kids have eczema, acne, ear infections and when they're on a if they've had a lot of ear infection and been on a lot of antibiotics that actually suppresses the immune system and causes candida and we'll talk about that a bit later and allergies common colds and flus adhd diabetes so many issues that kids are, are dealing with and this is why cellular nutrition is critical and i didn't really understand this when i was first introduced but we have to have healthy cells to have a healthy body. So how many cells do children produce every day? Like 1 billion, like think about that. Our body has over 73 trillion and these healthy cells process nutrients and provide energy. And what do sick cells do? They steal energy and cause disease. So we have to get ourselves healthy. And what's some of the facts that, you know, they say approximately 90% of children don't eat the recommended five or more portions of fruits and vegetables a day. One in five eat no fruit at all. And I know lots of kids who, who don't, won't even go near it. And of all age gender groupings, the poorest intakes, of course, are our teenagers, right? Because now you don't have as much control. They're going with their friends. They want to you know, eat what their friends are eating. So they have a lot of nutritional deficiencies. 
especially a lot of the girls with calcium and stuff. And uh, the average intake of whole grains, because remember we talk a lot about that Lancet study and what are they saying that that's killing us? It's not what we're eating, it's what we're not. And look at, they don't even have less than one serving of whole grains a day. And most children, they, they do gravitate towards the junk food and carbonated soft drinks. And children and teens have diets high in sugar. And of course, sugar cuts down the immune system. And only about right now, 20% are using a multivitamin and mineral supplement. Might be a little bit higher now, but there's some of the choices they're doing with the gummies aren't always the best either. So why don't we get what we need from our diet? Well, we have lots of challenges, right? Uh, the way our food is grown, the fertilizers that rob the vitamin C and the soils lose all the minerals. Processing, of course, the milling, especially of our grains where we lose those vital lipids and sterols and fiber and B vitamins. Storing, we buy, uh, what, a week of groceries at a time, sits in the fridge all week, and that loses a lot of the nutrients. And the way we cook as well, because uh, the best way to cook is grill, roast, or steam, or stir fry, because uh, a lot of other ways you actually, you actually lose all the vitamins. And of course, our lifestyle dictates our food choices. Uh, fast foods full of fats. Um, I know my son used to work at McDonald's when he was in high school. And uh, there was kids, especially the hockey kids, would be there three, four times a week picking up dinner because they didn't have a lot of time. Snacks packed with sugar, skip meals, no nutrients, and of course, soft drinks and phosphates. And so let's talk about sugar in the immune system because sugar shuts the immune system down. And I'd like to introduce uh, Shelly Sheridan, who's an iridologist and retired teacher, but she has a good experience with sugar. Absolutely. Unfortunately, yes, I do have experience with sugar. Um, this is my son, Mitchell, and I'm going to say he had candida. And that is when you have a lot of sugar, um, he was in that ear infection, antibiotic ear infection as a child, and his system really got wiped out. Not to mention that um, I grew up having a lot of like the, the cereals and, and the carbs and the sugar, a sweet tooth growing up. And I passed that on to him having cereal for breakfast and the carbs. And that mixture of the sugars for uh, suppressing his immune system, as Mary Ellen had said, and that carbs, which gave him a, a yeast overgrowth, then resulted in what is called candida. And you know, it really played havoc with his gut and his absorption and his energy levels. Um, this is where he's healthy. And thank goodness for this group, because I wasn't sure he was had rashes. He had athlete's foot. He had different signs that I didn't know was candida until um, I was part of Neolife. And people mentioned, well, check this out. So with, with the gut health, um, we had to rebuild his gut. We had to balance the candida and, and clear some of that out. And then we had to replenish um, his gut with different products. And now he, as you can see, he's strong. Uh, and he used to always say, mom, if, if I actually was absorbing my food when I was in high school, I would have been able to do so many things. And he was still an athlete then, but he's much more stronger now because of being able to control that candida. But sugar that really does play havoc with the kids. I also see it as a teacher um, with kids who are so active, overactive uh, in the classroom or by the afternoon, depending on what their lunches and snacks are. You know, they're not as, let's say, not as quick or as sharp because the, the sugar is, you know, making them tired or making them not being able to focus. So yeah, huge thing. So sugar really can ruin your health. Sugar can suppress your immune system and impair your defenses against infectious diseases. The immune suppressing effect of sugar starts less than 30 minutes after ingestion and lasts about five hours. And I know they always talk about in the fall where people get sick, where well, you've got Halloween and then you get into Christmas. And so a lot of those sugars also play a part of it. Sugar causes food allergies, can attribute to anxiety and depression. And this is all from a book called Lick the Sugar Habit. It also the sugars can cause a rapid rise of adrenaline, hyperactivity, anxiety, difficulty concentrating, crankiness in children. Sugar can reduce the learning capacity in children. It's really hard to focus when you have so much sugar in your system. So what do we want to do? We want to make sure that our kids get a nutrient diet. 
And so when we're looking at, you can go to the next slide, that's fine. Because when you're looking at the Canada Food Guide and as a teacher, I really love that in 2019, they shifted things to include plenty of vegetables and fruit on the left, a quarter of the different proteins that we're gonna have, a quarter of your whole grains. And Mary Ellen uh, will expand a bit more about those grains and water being that drink of choice. And Mary Ellen, you're really thrilled that they uh, changed this too, aren't you? <laughs> Yeah, I was so happy when they made these changes, absolutely. And there's our, our my water boy, right? That's uh, my favorite guy. And he's so important for us to have good quality filtered water because as you can see, 75% of your brain, your muscles, your, uh, you know, your everything in your body, even to absorb nutrients, you, you need water. And it's important for children to drink a lot of water as well. And probably about, you know, half their body weight in ounces a day and, uh, I know sometimes uh, kids don't want to drink water, so you can kind of do however old they are. That's how many sips they have to take every little while to, to give them a break. You know, that's a good way to do it. And it kind of makes it fun for them. And so what vitamins do children need? Well, A for uh, healthy eyes and bones, uh, Bs for energy metabolism, C for immunity and antioxidant to, that's, uh, to protect them, D for healthy bones and teeth, and E for healthy skin and antioxidant function. The same reasons that we need it as well. And we and they need all their macro minerals. Those are really calcium and magnesium, very important for their bones and for their blood, iron and zinc, iodine, copper, chromium, and manganese. And I'm, I'm getting a lot of children who are getting, being diagnosed with low iron with anemia. And uh, it's uh, probably because they're lacking certain foods in their diets that, that, that they require this from. And of course, children need those macronutrients, the proteins, the carbohydrates, and the good fats, just the way we do. They need the balance of all those. And all those dark color phytonutrients that we talked about, whole foods, fruits and vegetables, lots and lots. And you can get kind of creative. Like I know uh, one of my granddaughters was a little picky. So what we do is we we either grind up the, like cook the vegetables and grind them up in pasta sauces or hide them in smoothie bowls or so we can get creative when we're when we're trying to get some of these fruits and veggies in if the kids don't always want to eat them. And there's so much research out there showing that it actually improves uh, the performance of children, like in school with a multivitamin, uh, with iron and zinc, it helps children think, it helps their attention. And uh, I know when I got my both uh, my boys on the on the children's program. Uh, one of the teachers wrote a note home saying that they were concentrating better in school. So it can make a, so something so simple as that, that right? And of course, uh, influenza, you're not hearing this much about that right now, but uh, it's commonly known as the flu and it is caused by a virus and all viruses function this way. And how do they spread? By respiratory droplets through coughing, sneezing and direct content with contaminated surfaces. You know what kids are like, they come up and sneeze right in your face, right? So they have no no filter. So, you know, of course, teaching them in the elbow, I see a lot of kids doing that. And of course, making sure they wash their hands is so, so important. Go on. And fevers. Uh, fevers, oh, sorry, someone's unmuted there. Nana, can you mute them? Uh, fevers are the body's normal response to fighting infection. And they're more common in children because their body's developing their immune system. So it's kind of important to don't, not to just to treat the thermometer, but treat the child. If they have a very mild, mild uh, fever, there's some things you can do naturally to, to bring it down as opposed to always giving them, uh, you know, like Advil or Tylenol, because by doing that, the body stops the healing process. But of course, if it does get start to go up, you obviously treat it. And your child's behavior is the best indicator when something's wrong. Because when they're really sick, they get lethargic, they're not hungry. Like you can tell when, when, they're, when they're off for sure. And of course, ear infections, so common in kids. And it's, it's more common because of that structural development of the ear. 80% of ear infections do get better without antibiotics because a lot of them are viral. Um, it is important to get good bacteria into your child's system to help them fight off infections. I know we've had a lot of uh, kids who are prone to ear infections, but once they get on the Neolife probiotic and the children's vitamins, they finally don't get the ear infection. And Mar Mary Ellen, so would you also say, because I know this has been something that I've, I've found a lot of when you're dealing with kids that are struggling with some health challenges now, 
um, and they're linking it to candida, when you ask the right questions, they're usually the children that have been on, on antibiotics for a long, long time. And, yeah. and sometimes it's hard for mom to relate their conditions because sometimes they can go way, way back. And one of them was my, can my cousin Candace. I mean, I talked to her mom now. I mean, she's in her 30s and she goes, man, if I would have known all those years of antibiotic use because she suffered with candida her whole teenage years, not relating to the ear infections and antibiotic use to when she was a child. Right. Yeah, and, and often when they become teenagers, they get really bad acne if they've been on a lot of the antibiotics as well. It's mm -hmm. the, same, the same thing. Yeah, and, and, and I can add to that because when Mitchell was on all of the antibiotics, it was as a child from like baby to age five. And then it just kept cycling. You know, when he was nine, he had some gut issues. When he got to be a teenager, he ended up with irritable bowel syndrome. And it was connected to the antibiotics with the sugars and the, and the candida. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you. Yep. Thanks for that point. Appreciate that. Yeah. The thing with antibiotics, they, they wipe out all bacteria, good and bad. And that's why it's so important to put the good. And I know at Trillium, they actually uh, did a study where they gave half the people that were on IV antibiotics, probiotics, and the other half they didn't. And the ones that got the probiotics, none of them got C. difficile and almost all of the other ones did. So it can, it can make a huge, huge difference in how you recover. And of course, we have a lot of all these kids with food allergies. It's so it's increasing like crazy. And 27% of children with food allergies also have eczema. You hear that a lot. My son had the eczema as well because of his allergies. And 30% of children with food allergies also have respiratory allergies. So again, like something like asthma, what my son was dealing with, it's it was caused because of the allergies, which which caused inflammation, which caused the mucus in his airways. So once we got his allergies under control, then his asthma went down. So that's that's how it works. And so what are the major, eight major foods that kids are often allergic to? Uh, milk, eggs, peanuts, soybeans, wheat, tree nuts, fish, and shellfish. Uh, very, very common ones. And now kids, I'm here seeing kids allergic to way more than that, but that's the eight major ones. And uh, worldwide sensitivity, to sensitization rates to one or more common allergens among school kids is now about 40 to 50 percent. So it's it's really getting high and you, you're seeing so much asthma and uh, uh, a lot of skin issues and and uh, it's really it's really getting out of control. So we definitely need to help our kids and of course it affects their 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 behavior as well. And that's why hyperactivity is is so big not only from food sensitivities but not getting the right nutrients. So the solution, of course, is a healthy lifestyle and preventative strategies. Um, products made from whole food concentrates based in nature and backed by science. And I've had so many kids who even were in daycares and, you know, they, they thought, oh, it's normal to be sick all the time because you're around the kids. But once they get on, on the New Life Children's Program, they maybe get a sniffle for a day and fight it off. They don't end up going into secondary infection. So what's nutrition for all three stages of growth and development? Uh, well, we need optimal nutrition for healthy cells. And uh, Nat, I'd like to bring you on here so you can share why these grains are so important, not only for us, but for our kids. Absolutely. And you know, Mary Ellen, I mean, I learned this over 31 years ago. I was in my early 20s. I was working as a police officer in Toronto and I was really struggling with energy and fatigue and adrenal issues. I was eating healthy. I was exercising, not understanding that our grains today are no longer whole. They're milled, they're processed. And when I heard this story, you know, about the how these essential fatty acids were critical for cell function, I didn't understand why we couldn't get it in our diet, you know, because years ago, they used to grind the wheat to make the flour, make the bread, you know, and, and all the products on the shelf had a very short shelf life. And uh, I didn't know that. I didn't understand that because our breads today last weeks and our cereals last years and our pasta last forever. Um, so this was one of the things that drew me to the company because I had some of these health challenges. And I remember even as a, as a, in my early teens, you know, I was so tired all the time. And, and I look back now and I realized I, I figured out that I probably had low iron and I was exercising a lot. And I had my, my cycles were really, really bad. I struggled with heavy, heavy periods and not understanding that these oils from these grain really played a role in, in balancing and re regulating um, your cell function. So, you know, when you look at these grain oils and you look at, you know, why they remove these oils, they leave you with this
this white flour, processed, um, you know, wheat, and and that's what we're eating, and that's what our children are eating today. And we're now on third and fourth generation kids not having these essential lipids in our diet anymore, and it's causing a lot of serious health health challenges today. So when I looked at Neolife as a company, and I did, found this product called Tran and Grain Concentrate. It contained those lipids and phytosterols from whole grain, but what was really neat was it had less gluten than a bowl of gluten-free cereal. So it didn't affect anybody that had, you know, concerns about eating wheat or had wheat sensitivities or gluten sensitivities. Um, and it was developed for a hospital research study, and it was proven to help with cellular energy and efficiency. And when I started taking this product, what a difference it made. And, you know, I had a very stressful job working as a police officer with shift work and fatigue. And what this allowed me to do was just, it gave me the energy um, and help my adrenal glands to deal with the stress in my life. And when you, you know, you talk to a lot of parents today, children are having difficulties dealing with stress. And, and a lot of it has to do with their cells are just not being supported nutritionally. And how TranN works is every single cell in your body is surrounded by this lipid layer, this fatty layer that allows nutrients in and allows waste out. So when you look at the cell on the left, because we're not getting these essential lipids in our diet anymore through milling and processing, nutrients can't get in and waste cannot get out. So that's how TranN works. It just gets your cells healthy, gets the nutrients working better. And what's really cool was when my kids were little, they were babies. Um, so my, my boys are now 20 and 20, uh, 22 and 24. They grew up on these products. And I'm proud to say that they've never been on antibiotics. Um, the only time they've been on medication is because they broke a, a leg or they broke an arm, which is kind of, you know, the guy kind of thing. But this liquid vitamin for babies, it contains those grain oils, the tran and grain concentrate for cellular energy. It's made from whole food, has those antioxidants, which is very important for the immunity called flavonoids and carotenoids. And that's in your dark colored fruits and vegetables. And it provides a full day supply of 12 important uh, vitamins. Um, easy to take, very simple. It's in a liquid. It tastes pretty good. Um, no artificial anything in artificial colors, sweeteners, flavors, or preservatives added. I have not found a multivitamin out there that's completely natural, that's not sweetened with all these, well, artificial sweeteners or have colors or dyes. I know Mary Ellen, being a holistic nutritionist, do you find that uh, there's a lot of products out there or like it's really hard to find? a good quality product that, that I would say, and you would say is safe for kids and babies. Yeah. And I haven't found another one that has the and grain concentrates. That's the, the big difference. And a lot of them, especially the gummies, they're so bad for their teeth and everything. Yeah. And uh, cause they, and they, when they're those vibrant colors, you know, it can't be natural. Right. Right. Yeah. So the and M a great way to get babies and, and little ones started until they have their teeth. And this is just a quick little video that, um, uh, Courtney um, has a, here we go, just kids just love it. You can hide it in anything. Mm. Oh, no, 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 you don't need to use the cap though. Not quite yet. Hmm? Are you chewing yours, Marley? Mm -hmm. yep. Clark was actually grabbing the omega-3 salmon oil. We'll talk about that a little bit later. She was actually wanting to uh, to, uh, to chew the fish oil. <laughs> but the kids absolutely love um, love these products. And there's a liquid bite. She's asking for, for her liquid vitamin. <laughs> so it's such a great, great product. And, and then when they start to, um, their teeth start to come out and they can chew something a little harder, then they can upgrade to the Vita Squares. And the Vita Squares is a chewable version um, that contains, again, those grain oils those lipids and sterols that again was proven to help your cells absorb 50% more of the nutrients from your food. It has all your vitamins and minerals. Again, tastes great. Kids love them. And again, no artificial anything, no artificial colors, sweeteners, flavors, or preservatives added. Okay. So just another great whole food supplement um, for kids that contain those lipids and phytosterols. 
And then we have the Vita Guard. Ah, uh, you know, when you look at how many servings of fruits and vegetables we should be eating every single day, it's a challenge, especially when you're looking at, at, at children. And we were talking actually to someone today and they were saying, my kids will only eat broccoli, which is great if, if you can get your kids to eat broccoli, but they need a variety of those dark colored fruits and vegetables every single day. So this VitaGuard is another product that helps to fill those nutritional gaps in the fruit and vegetable department, okay? And it contains those flavonoids and carotenoids, again, from those dark colored fruits and veggies, has some zinc and selenium, which is also really important for the immune system. And again, no artificial anything in this product. And it tastes really good um, as well. So those two products, the VitaSquares and the VitaGuard, just help to, to fill those nutritional gaps in our children, especially if they're, if they're picky eaters. Then when you add the Neolife Shake, and I have to say this was a big lifesaver for me and my, and my boys, because they were very active. They were playing a lot of sports, uh, basketball, football, they snowboarded. And I found the biggest challenge was when you're away at tournaments, you know, they were hungry, but they didn't, didn't want to eat anything heavy or filling. This was a great product that they can have in between. It tastes great. It's great for breakfast, especially for those kids that are picky eaters in the morning or they're up early and they have to get on the bus really early. Just a great way to start their morning. But what's really cool about this product, high quality protein. Um, it has all 22 amino acids, no artificial anything, mixes easy with water, and only 140 calories. So my boys had it with their breakfast in the morning because they were really good breakfast eaters. But then when they got into their teen years, and even in their 20s, there's some mornings where they don't want to eat breakfast, they don't have time, or they're on the fly, they're, on, they're out the door, they will take the time to whip this protein shake up. Okay, so again, it just depends on, on, your, on your children's needs. And what's inside, Mary Ellen, these are your grandkids. I know this has been a favorite product for your guys. Absolutely yep, nothing. Since the sippy cup, they've been having it. Yeah, no artificial anything, no high fructose corn syrup, no preservatives. Again, you know, none of those bad fats, which is really important. And no GMO ingredients, okay? GMO free, which is really, really important, okay? But also what it does, it, it controls blood sugar. You hear a lot of um, stories or you talk to parents and they say the teachers are complaining when the kids get to school, they can't concentrate, they can't focus because their blood sugar is crashing. If they've had a sugary cereal, a sugary snack or, you know, a muffin or a bagel or just carbohydrates. So what this protein shake is designed to do is to keep the blood sugar in that glycemic control zone. So great for energy, great for, for fat burning. It promotes um, uh, fat burning and prevents fat storage, okay? So this is really important for our children today to keep the blood sugar regulated properly. And we've just launched a vegan option for those kids that do have some sensitivities to dairy. Um, even though the Neolife Shake is 90% lactose-free, um, sometimes people are looking for um, a, a, a vegetarian op option or a plant-based option, okay? So other important nutrients are the omega-3s. Um, very important, especially um, during pregnancy for, for moms. I mean, the fetus makes 250,000 nerve cells every minute. And at six weeks, half of the weight of the fetus is brain weight. By the third trimester, 70% of the energy reserves of the fetus are directed to, to uh, the, the, the brain development. So this is so, so important. That's why it's so important for mom, pregnant moms to take a good quality fish oil. And also you hear a lot of, of young mothers, they, they really, really struggle um, with postpartum depression. And it takes about four years for a mother to, de, to replenish her supply of DHA, uh, DHA depleted by her fetus. Okay, um, so again, this is important. DHA is the king of brain fats, okay, and governs almost every conceivable mental function. So if mom has enough to give to baby, there's also enough, hopefully some left for mom, okay? So this is really, really important. Um, and, you know, omega-3, it does help with other function as well. Um, again, memory improves dyslexia, ADD, ADHD, improves concentration and learning, decreases um, aggressiveness and irritability, because again, reducing inflammation, and that's really important, improves moods by upregulating serotonin. 
Okay, um, so this is such an important nutrient for our children. And I have to share with you. So this is my older son, Jack, and this is Luke. This is an older picture, but I just wanted to show this because Jack is six foot six and he's now probably around 250 pounds. But la two years ago, he had a really, really bad fall and occurred a brain injury. And they gave us a four to six month window recovery. Fortunately, Jack has been on the products since consumption in his whole life. But at the hospital, the brain surgeon told me he had Jack on an omega-3 to help reduce inflammation so he can heal faster. I asked him if we can put Jack on the Neolife supplements. They approved all the supplements, especially the omega-3. Jack was home in six weeks with 100% recovery. That has never happened in the history of that hospital. And I have to share with you, it's not just because he took supplements while he was in the hospital, it definitely helped and, and speeded up his, his healing process. But our scientists told me that because Jack had been on the products his whole life, he said that he would heal a third of the time faster. So keeping the inflammation low, keeping your children's immune system strong is the key to have fast healing. And I did experience it, you know, when they were playing sports, because my, my kids did play sports. But boy, this was a huge, huge eye opener for me. And you know, when you're looking at omega threes and fish oil, um, you know, a lot of concern is is mercury, lead toxins. I mean, a lot of fish oils, right on the label says don't take if you're pregnant. The Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists featured the Neolife Salmon Oil Plus, and said it was safe for pregnant moms. And this is so, so critical. Um, so again, such an important product. And, and another difference, Neolife difference of Neolife Salmon Oil Plus, it has all eight omega-3, tested for 200 contaminants with an allowance of zero, okay? Proven clinically to reduce inflammation 68% in just eight weeks. So can you see the relationship between Jack's healing? And, and the, the impact it made in his recovery, this is such an incredible product to reduce inflammation, okay? So when you're looking at the children's product, um, we have our liquid vitamin, we've got the Vita Squares and the Vita Guard and the Salmon Oil Plus, which is, which is your liquid, um, uh, sorry, your, your, your omega-3. And this is a, a video um, of Courtney's daughter actually Do you chewing. like your salmon oil, Marley? She yeah. loves it. How do you eat it? Chew. You chew it? What, what are you chewing right now? A hard vitamin. A hard vitamin? <laughs> so when you say, you know, there's ways of getting that product into our kids. So, so important. And then when you're looking at our teens, I mean, it's, kind of we it's easier i think to control a little bit about your kids diet you can hide things you can you know prepare foods the way they like them but boy when your kids start to get into that teenage year it's a challenge because they're not always home um and you know sometimes their food choices aren't the greatest so when you look at the deficiencies and what we're not meeting the dietary guidelines even the rda so really really important for our teens to supplement so the pro vitality that neolife has it's a little multivitamin box that has the grain oils, the fish oil, it has a multivitamin um, and all in this convenient little pack uh, to help to fill the gap. Then we do have a product called Formula 4, especially for, for women that are menstruating or they're low in iron. It's a great multivitamin, but it contains those lipids and sterols and it has a little bit of iron. And then there's one without iron. So we've got so many great options for our kids and teens and young children, just to help to fill uh, those nutritional gaps. And for, from, a, from an athletic standpoint, there's nothing better you can do than give your kids nutritional support. My son, Luke, has had several uh, ankle sprains, uh, concussions he's had, and the recovery has been exceptional. Even his trainers, um, whenever he would get injured and taken off the field, they'd always say, oh, he's out for the season. He'd be back in two to three weeks. So phenomenal results. And even Jack, playing basketball, the results were absolutely incredible. So if you have active children, these products are incredible. And this is the pack that helps to fill those nutritional gaps, 
So it has your 12 pounds of whole grains in every box, 80 pounds of raw fruits and vegetables, and 10 servings of omega-3 fish in every single box. So it's a very easy. So what I like this for teenagers, it's a little packet, boom, they take it and they're done. And they have all these amazing nutrients to fill the nutritional gaps. And also our kids today are suffering with anxiety um, and mood, mood disorders. And I just want to share Nash's story, which is my nephew, who's had phenomenal results. And he's going to just share a quick little story. I'm here with my nephew, Nash, and uh, he just shared something personal with me um, today. And I just wanted to, for him to share it from his heart, Nash. Hi guys. Um, so I've been on pro, pro vitality um, most of my life because of my aunt. She's always had us on the products. Uh, because of personal reasons in uh, COVID and everything, I stopped my auto ship for about eight months. And about four months in, I started feeling like severe anxiety at work and at home. And I've never had any sort of issues with that in my entire life. So it was, it was really weird. I almost had to go on stress leave for several months because of this. And I, one day I realized that I hadn't been eating properly or taking my pro vitality or my protein shakes in the morning anymore. So I asked my mom if she had any on her. I think I was two weeks in and all my anxiety was gone. So that's the power of, of nutrition. And we're even getting a, a test stories from young, young children struggling with anxiety and, and trouble dealing with stress. And it's amazing when you give them the proper nutrients that they just start to deal with things better in their life. And Mary Ellen, there's other products that really um, have an impact on our children. Yep, the basics of course is sort of like the breakfast pack for kids, which is the VitaSquares and VitaGuard and the salmon oil and the shake. But um, it is a good idea for them to have a little bit of extra vitamin C because it's for immune support, healthy teeth and eyes, and it's chewable. They love the flavor. Uh, it's like a treat. And, you know, humans and guinea pigs are the only animals that don't make their own vitamin C in the body. So having one of those a day is equivalent to four oranges in each tablet with all of the, everything except the water. So you get the rose hips, the acerola cherries, um, and the neoplex concentrate. So it's, it's a great uh, way to get some vitamin C in their diet. And uh, sometimes too, um, if kids get like muscle cramps and things, the vitamin, the calcium is good, but also especially for young girls, because of course you're building your bone bank until you're age 30. Uh, so that's good. As we talked about the vitamin C, acidophilus, I find a lot of kids have tummy troubles, right? And, or they've been on antibiotics or they eat sugar or junk food. So once in a while, the acidophilus is a good way to maintain that healthy balance of intestinal microflora. I had one little girl and uh, she, she was having terrible stomach issues and the doctor wanted to do the scoping, but of course they had to wait like three months for it. So in the meantime, I said, well, why don't you just try the acidophilus and the aloe? And uh, anyways, within like a week, her stomach calmed right down and she even wrote me a little card thanking me for uh, for helping her out. And she said, you know, those pills, they they really work. <laughs> That's what she knows. So. Yeah, and I have a lot of kids, especially a lot of the probiotics. A line is a big one that uh, is recommended by pharmacists, but it's not it's not equivalent. It only has one type of bacteria. It's actually works out more expensive when you look at at if you're comparing apples and apples. And the benefits of aloe. Aloe is one of uh, my most favorite products. And what is scientific studies are showing it helps with the occasional constipation, immune system enhancement. Uh, normal blood sugar, respiratory support. There's, there's so many benefits to aloe and it heals right from the minute it goes in and uh, to the minute it goes out. And what makes the Neolife aloe different is that it actually has that herbal tea blend, which helps with stress induced discomfort. Because what happens when, when you're upset, your digestion shuts down, right? So it promotes healing, reduces inflammation and helps a lot with, with stress. So and they only use the gel only portion. A lot of the products squish the whole leaf so you get all the toxins. And uh, it also has that blend of, of uh, passion flower, chamomile and ginseng, uh, which is great for, for energizing and balancing and calming the body down and some vitamin C and electrolytes. So it's great to use working out too. You can put it in your water. It's good for that because you get those electrolytes. And tray, 
that's uh, another, I, one of my uh, customers, she just loves the tray. She, she says it was like, uh, it helped her sinuses. If you have a bit of a sore throat, you just take a shot of tray, you can kind of feel it healing as it goes down close because it's polyphenols. It's all those powerful antioxidants. So it's not just a juice. You only do a, an ounce a day and has 20 times the Puna collagens of fresh pomegranate juice, five to 10 times the resveratrol. That's that powerful thing in red wine. Uh, and seven times the antioxidant power of ripe red tomatoes and six times the alpha lipoic acid of fresh spinach. So it's, it's packed with nutrients. And Mary Ellen, I just wanna share here that my sister's son um, was diagnosed with mild autism and he's gonna be 12 next weekend. And this has been a lifesaver for her because he's such a picky eater, um, texture, really, you know, certain foods. He, he loves broccoli. He, he'd eat that every day, but it's important to have the variety, right? Of those dark colored fruits and veggies. And he'd always, you know, anyways, he struggled with a little bit of his immune system. And as soon as she added this product every single day, he doesn't have any issues with runny nose or sore throat, or she said, this is the product that's really helping her to fill the nutritional gaps in his diet. And it's great. And I, I know at our house, uh, we don't give our grandkids pop, but we'll do uh, a little bit of tray, a little bit of aloe. You can put some sparkly water with a, a little bit of juice and they call it Opa's special drink. And that's, that's what they get, right? So it's, and that you think they're getting aloe and tray together in, in, a, in a fun way and they love it. And they tell all their friends about it and everything. And of course, for kids, they need vitamin D too, because especially uh, uh, right now for immunity, it's so, so important for their, uh, their innate and their adaptive immune systems. And uh, this one is made from food. You're not getting sheep wool or lanolin. It's actually from mushrooms, which you know have so many benefits and, and uh, um, reindeer lichen, which is a, a plant. So it's, it's great. And when you look at all those products out there, like who do we trust? Like, I mean, there's people think just because something's in a store, it's safe. Well, that's not necessarily true because researchers found that from, there was 776 products uh, that were marked as dietary supplements, but they had hidden ingredients that were unsafe or unstudied. So you have to really trust in and know the, the science to make sure they have good evidence-based science. So when, when I first looked at Neolife, I realized it was definitely a name I could trust. The fact that it had been around since 1958, never having a dietary recall, it's in 50 countries around the world, and they meet or exceed all the health standards of all those countries. And the whole philosophy is based in nature, but backed by science. So they don't just use isolates. It's everything that's in food that's in the products that we need. So it, it works differently in your body. And when people ask me, what do I look for in a supplement? I say, you want to find out what it's made from. Because just because it's natural, it can be anything from the ground, petroleum, ephedra, fungus, where studies are showing what we need is whole grains, fruits and vegetables, and wild salmon. And that's what Neolife uses in their products. And every product is GMO free. There's no genetically modified organism. And the reason they have this high quality control where you can be 100% sure what's on the labels in the bottle and nothing else and what's in the bottle gets into the body is because of the scientific advisory board that was founded by Dr. Arthur First, one of the top toxicologists in the world. He actually was a co-founder of oral chemotherapy. And when he was doing his research in cancer, he found nutrients in food that prevent disease. And he set up our prestigious scientific advisory board of world-renowned scientists and researchers. So uh, it's uh, you can uh, you have amazing uh, research and evidence-based uh, 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 studies behind all of the products. And it is important that the, the products have been tested and published in peer reviewed journals. And Neolife has been published in journals like the New England Journal of Medi Medicine, the American College of Nutrition, it's very prestigious journals. That, and it's the actual product that's tested. It's not just the ingredients. And of course, it's so important, especially with kids, because you know how close to the ground they are, that we have a healthy environment and get the, the toxins out. So. How do we do that? Well, you know, we talked about drinking water, uh, chemical-free moisturizers, watch what you put on your skin. Uh, be careful with medication. Uh, if it's necessary, fine, but it depletes nutrients and also has side effects. Eat a clean diet and environmentally safe cleaners, which is a really easy way to, to lower your toxic load. Um, and with the, Neolife, what I like is there's only three products. You don't have a thousand things under your sink. You have the LDC, which is the light duty cleaner for washing your fruits and vegetables and all your light duty cleaner. 
the Super 10, which does all the heavy duty, and the G1, which is a great, uh, like a lot of people have told me, oh, I use natural laundry detergents. But the, the, the problem is, is they, they're still having issues where when they switch to the G1, because it's completely free rinsing, it's so important. Um, and there's our, uh, uh, Neil Life was involved in one of the, the largest uh, uh, re, um, uh, rescue. Uh, there was 25,000 penguins coated in crude oil. And the only thing that they would use, sand cob would use was Neolife's LDC because it was so safe to, to clean the birds. And they actually followed them and they saw that they were able to you know, have babies and everybody was safe. So that's super important. So uh, is Laura May gonna come on, Nada? Do you wanna introduce uh, her? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Laura May has an amazing story, an amazing journey with her boys. So I'm gonna have her share her, share her story, Laura May. Hi, everybody. I'm just coming back from a hike outside. So I'm a little bit whew, warm. Uh, so I met Nada at the skateboard park 12 years ago this summer. And when we met, my boys were a mess. And when I say that, I mean, they were not well. None of us were well, actually. Uh, but my oldest boy especially was suffering from asthma and quite extensively to the point where he had been hospitalized. And so I was a scared mom. I was scared all the time. Is he going to move from yellow zone to red zone? And if anybody's an asthma mom, they understand or parent understands what that means. So I felt helpless. And Nada said, Laura May, you don't have to live like this. This is not the reality you have to be living in. And so I was skeptical, but I listened to Nada. And over time, doesn't it's not an instant change in lifestyle. Uh, it, it takes time to change the lifestyle and get the nutrients going in the body. But like everyone said earlier in, in this talk, is that it's it's giving the body the opportunity to do what it needs to do to to be well. And so Lucas had the opportunity. And now my boys are, my oldest boy is Lucas, he's 20. And my youngest is 17. And they take their pro vitality every day. And when it comes to asthma, uh, Lucas just does not ever go into the red zone. We haven't had a red zone issue for a very long time. And that's because he's receiving the proper nutrition and his, with that nutrition uh, reception, the body knows what to do. So I'm forever grateful to Neil Life for, for helping all of us turn our health around. And when it comes down to it, it's making sure the body's getting the proper nutrition. So thanks I remember, for letting I remember me. When I, yeah, no, I remember <laughs> when I saw him yesterday, I was like, oh my gosh, you're becoming a man. But I remember, <laughs> I remember even last summer he was running and he runs like long yes. and he runs wrestling. a lot <laughs> yes running right? and wrestling and now he works out consistently he's just finished up his second year at at university in business and he's never had he's never looked better he's never felt better he's right he, this week he's he had his wisdom teeth taken out and his recovery is uh really? very quick yeah. because he's on he's doing the uh the sport protein and the pro vitality and he's taking a, he'll be on the antibiotics. He's on antibiotics, unfortunately, because of the wisdom teeth. So this week we're on the, um, uh, making sure that, not that we don't always, but the acidophilus to make sure that, yeah. that, that, that he gets awesome. that. Awesome. Thank you so Thank much, you. Laura May. Thank you for sharing. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. <laughs> That's a great story. So, I mean, these are the stories that really inspire me to keep sharing. And uh, what's really nice about Neolife, we have a wellness club. And in order to join our club, it's free. And as soon as you become a member of our wellness club, you automatically get 15% off. And when you go on auto ship on what, any product, one product, two products, you automatically get wholesale price. It's a convenient monthly delivery. And because you're a loyal customer, the company will give you all your shipping back in loyalty points where you can spend that money on other products. And then we even have a referral program where you can get your products for free with those health packs. We even have fitness challenges and weight loss challenges. So these are kind of like the most popular packs. So when you're looking at teens and above, 
Um, you've got the pro vitality, you've got the breakfast pack. If there's a weight issues, we do have a weight loss pack called the shape up pack. And then we have the children vitamins as well. Uh, but these are the health packs that you can qualify to, to earn um, your three for free. And the breakfast pack is definitely our best seller. And third, we also have a, um, a Facebook group um, and called Neo Life Healthy Living Community. And we have over 8,000 members in this group. So if you're curious to learn a little bit more um, and hear more stories and testimonials, this is where people share uh, their powerful testimonials, but you can read thousands of stories on how these products have impacted their life. And there's a lot on children. So if you'd like to, to browse around, just um, whoever invited you here this evening, if you're Facebook friends, they can invite you to this amazing group. And there is one more option. For those of you that are curious about you know, um, the business opportunity, if you're someone you know really enjoys helping others, this is a great opportunity and, and uh, we're not going to go into all the details of the business tonight, but if you're curious about this, just ask the person that invited you and they can help you understand how this amazing opportunity can impact your life even financially. Um, it's been an amazing journey for me over the last 31 years. So if you would like to learn more about the product, we're here to help you. We're going to open up to questions and answers. If you'd like to know more about the business, we're also here to give you a better understanding on that, how that works as well. So I want to thank you all so much for joining us tonight. I want to thank all the amazing testimonials that were shared. And I will be stopping the recording and, um, and open it up to questions. So thank you again for joining us. And thank you, Mary Ellen, for your amazing expertise and Shelly as well.